of another short scene. When they get up to do it, they're going to pass that token on to the next group, who is then going to start planning how they're going to connect to the scene before them. <laughs> then they're going to slide that token all the way down, which is why we have cleverly made it out of cloth, after, after breaking several non-cloth tokens. Very smart. Uh, so that's going to come all the way down here. They're going to get to plant their scene. We're going to run down like twice, maybe three times, depending on how fast and good it goes. And then you're going to have your whole group therapy art, and everyone will have worked out their issues. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Right. Now what I need though is a, is a common thread now for this first scene because it's all going to be based on you. I need to know what you would like this first scene to be about. Give me a, a topic, something that interests you in life. Ghost hunting. Ghost hunting and Shakespeare. Well, I think that that makes a fun that we're going to see this first scene about Corey and Larry who are hunting the ghost of Shakespeare. And you'll see where that goes from there. Ladies and I want to present for you group therapy, Corey and Larry hunting the ghost of Shakespeare, and begin. <laughs> Forsooth, oh, Larry, we have found the proper graveyard of the post of the digging of the death of the Shakespearean personage who hath written the stump. Hi, Corey Impious. We have traveled from afar from the sunsets of the fourth blackest moon of night. Indeed. Ho! Ho there! Ho! There's a ho. There's a ho. Later. Indeed. <laughs> Very lovely. Wow. Tom and Bender, would you please connect to that lovely scene? Quick, Spangler, look. It's, somebody's ripping us off. Somebody else is doing our ghost hunting. That sucks. <laughs> we have to find Shakespeare. I think he's in the toilet. Oh, good idea, because it said right here in the paper that they didn't even find the ghost of Shakespeare. Well, they, they're images. You sure he's in our firehouse bathroom? Shakespeare, you in there? I'd be taking a dump. Uh, who, who, are, who art thou out there? Forsooth, I am thine lady with thine fine breast upon me. Rest your nipple. <laughs> just, just like to point out shit, that Ben was going really good there, but the minute he had breast on his mouth, he couldn't suck in my nipples. <laughs> couldn't quite fall You can rest your Ooh, nipples. Right. Could you please, can, speaking of nipples, Amy and, and Seamus, could you please connect to that scene? Welcome to the tomb of Shakespeare, where maybe you could find Shakespeare's ghost. Put the backpack on now, I'm ready to sign All up. All right. Here's the map. That'll be a dollar. Oh. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, okay. 
And we've got the backpack with the secret Shakespeare finding implements. That'll be 20. Oh. And make sure to come to our gift shop. Well, I'm going to find that green thing, right? That green blobby thing. Sure you will. Yes. Now, direct Oh, the collected works of Shakespeare. That'll be four hundred dollars. I am not. You're gonna need it. Well, what does this word say? Get closer to it. Right. Get Thus. Yes, get even closer. Shakespeare's long lost play, Shakespearean Women with Augmentation Gone Wrong. <laughs> also known as Frankenstein Bride. <laughs> it takes place in a castle beyond. Master, I have I have dogs gone out and clubbed the woman that you have seeked. Eagle, what happened to your breast? Master, you gave me quite a nice lift last week, if you don't remember. As you can see, they're quite perky. That's where that hump, that's where that hump went. Now, as you can see, the subject is knocked out and is as, uh, knocked out. <laughs> just the way I like them. Let me I go get my clothes and some Barry White music. <laughs> wow. Man, you thought the Da Vinci Code thing was a shocker. Who knew that Shakespeare was actually just ripping off Mary Kelly? Uh, or, or actually the other way around. Yeah. It's Shelly. Be very Shelly. Anyway, connect. Oh, the monster escaped! That's a nice, nice racky 
Omega coming out of your neck, but... <laughs> my God! Feel it! Feel it! Ah! That is the most action I get in so long! It felt kind of nice. Do it again! Okay. Oh! oh! Why don't I get you a few martinis over at the, uh, saloon? Go! All right. We're here! For the martinis for the monster. All right, I'll uh, get the uh, two. Oh my God! Ah, oh. hurry! I'm thirsty. <laughs> oh, put it on my rack. One <laughs> <laughs> more. Oh, that was horrendous. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> some of your issues in trying to understand the language and difficulty of Shakespeare. Basically, when you're trying to look into Shakespeare, remember, it's all just about the thump and the racks. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, your speed is up, please, group that! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you!